Hey, we have an online question from Sam from Jackson. He was going to buy life insurance, and somebody told him that it's a lack of faith in God to buy life insurance. And his response was, I go to work to earn a living. I don't say God's going to provide for me, so why if, should I not buy life insurance and just say, that, if, is it the same thing? Saying, my, oh, God's going to take care of my family, or do I do something to make sure that my family is taken care of? Well, um, there's two things uh, to consider. This is a very big question by many people. People have real faith in God. Why should I buy life insurance? Why should I buy uh, uh, hospital insurance for that matter? Uh, I've discussed it with the great Rabbi Moshe Feinstein, and uh, we discussed uh, having hospital insurance, doctor insurance, uh, health insurance, and he said that definitely a person should have because thing is uh, frequent to happen, we have to do our status, we call it, and do not depend on miracles. And people today, doctors put people in the hospital very readily today, and it's a thing that's uh, happening all the time, and we have to uh, not rely on miracles, and we have to take the right steps to uh, not rely on God for miracles. We don't want, uh, God doesn't want us to rely on miracles. We're not great enough for that. <laughs> so, <coughs> so it comes to life insurance, uh, it's really uh, the same thing because people don't live forever. And uh, to that, we find some people who do not have life insurance and others have to take up the slack. And some people, God forbid, some people don't live uh, forever naturally. Some people uh, even leave their world when they're younger and they have families and uh, who's going to take care of those families? So they have to make a big collection for them and go around collecting from people in order for them to have, uh, uh, take care of the children uh, for now and for afterwards and get married and so on. And people have very great uh, complaints about that. Why do you do this to us? You could have gotten life insurance, taken care of your family, and now we have to go around collecting and, 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 and it's such a big uh, to-do to collect money for people. So I tell people that uh, because of this reason uh, that Shh. they uh, have no right to go without life insurance because we have another cloud that we have, can't be talking on somebody else's cheshman. There's a person who will say, I'd be talking, I have faith in God, will take care of me, but you can't have faith in God to take it from somebody else. For yourself, you want to be a righteous person, they have betochen, they have faith in God, they don't have to do things. But don't say, because you have faith in God, who will take care of them, that's take care of you. Take care of them, that's not up to you. So therefore, it comes to some the person, you can't be betochen. My Rebbe says, betochen, the enemy's cheshman, you can't have. So this is something that uh, we uh, accept to have all types of insurances, not to be excessively, but what's considered by the world a, 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 a right amount for the type of insurance to have, which is, uh, uh, will be uh, sufficient to, to take care of what has to be taken care of, whether it's hospital, doctors, life. We say that uh, God says, don't rely on miracles. We have to, just like the man said, we have to go to work to make a livelihood. We can't expect the money to fall into the house by itself. The same thing when it comes to insurance. That is the mainstream opinion of most rabbis today. Don't be sad, don't be sad.